What is going on y'all? It's Mike. I'm back here with yet another video. In today's video, we're going to be reacting to an anti-bullying short film called The Bus Stop. <laughs> Me and her eating our snacks. <laughs> Apologize to the gray head. She almost croaked. Whatever. It's not like she has much longer anyway. <laughs> Don't you have a grandmother? Why is someone treating her this way? What had happened? Besides, I trained my grandma well. She knows when to shut her trap. Yeah. So her teeth don't fall out. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't you be at home cooking for some old fart anyway? Not talking anymore. You should have known with a face like that, nobody would be caught dead with you. <laughs> Actually, I just lost my husband. Oh. Well, maybe you could check with mall security. Someone might have found him sucking back a prune juice and brought him back. <laughs> Did he wow. kill himself because he couldn't live with your ugly ass anymore? Why, you? If you have nothing nice to say, why don't you just leave me alone? Come on, guys. Let's go to Jimmy's and get some burgers and catch the next bus. Okay. I'm starving. We'll, uh, see you later, constipator. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's horrible. <laughs> People really like that. <laughs> it's all right, Nana. It's all right. They don't get, they don't get there. They don't get there. Don't you really worry about it. Carter, get out here. I'm ready to go. I don't wanna go. Move it, mister, or no more video games for the rest of the week. You tell me they walked all the way around when they could have just walked right across the grass right there. I I just peeped that, but all right. My black behind went this room right there. <laughs> They're right there. Be polite. To be the old lady. Hi, I'm Lynn, your next door neighbor. We just wanted to stop by and welcome you to the neighborhood. Hi, I'm Angela. Nice to meet you. We made you a little something. Oh, that's so nice. And who is this young man? Oh, this is my son Carter. Nice to meet you, Carter. Would you like to come in for a cup of tea? I was just preparing some. Sure. Carter and I have some time. <laughs> Carter's like, I ain't got no time. <laughs> I ain't got the <no> time. <laughs> Not today. Thank you. <sighs> so, Angela, how do you like the neighborhood so far? Well, I just moved in a week ago, but 
everybody I met so far has been very friendly. Oh, How long have you man. Lived here? Oh, about five years or oh, so. Oh, man, this is about the uncle. We chose wow. this neighborhood because it's close to my office, and there were a couple of schools close by for Carter. You know, I used to teach at Glenview just around the corner up until I retired. Oh, really? Oh, that's where Carter goes. What wow. a small world, isn't it, Carter? Small world. I guess. Angela, uh, Carter's been really struggling with his grades lately, and with my schedule, I just don't have time to help him. I'm just wondering, do you do any part-time tutoring or... What's with you? She just moved in. Don't start bothering her already. Oh. It's not <laughs> like I'm failing anything. Oh, you don't have to worry about me, young man. It'd be my pleasure to teach you a lesson or two. Uh-oh. It'd be no trouble at all. Oh. Uh -oh. Exchange, perhaps Carter could help me around the house with a few things. Mm -hmm. Oh man, this move has taken a toll on my old bones. <laughs> oh, oh that's man, wonderful. thanks so much, Angela. <laughs> oh Forget man, oh man. He was the main one talking smack. Hello, Carter. Hi. Come in. We can sit in the dining room. Follow me. Why'd you get good grades at school? You need to be in that crap. Look, I'm only here because my mom is forcing me to. And if you think that I owe you anything for not ratting me out last time... Carter, you may be a bully in the street, but you're in my house now. So you're going to play by my rules and show some respect. Or what? Or if you prefer, I'll tell your parents everything that went down the other day at the bus stop. I'm sure your teachers would love to hear that story, too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, fine. Whatever. Okay, fine, Mrs. Wellington. Okay, fine, Mrs. Wellington. Good. Wow. You see those boxes over there? I want you to move them upstairs for me. This isn't tutoring. I'm the teacher. You're the student. You don't get to question my teaching methods. <laughs> Ain't that some? Ain't karma. Mm. Lift with your knees, not your back. But in a sense, you're teaching them some valuable stuff. you do in your doll whatever doll it is it's literally just drag and drop we can drag one of these chord progressions in boom just like that um this is wellington i'm going for today i'm gonna head out now thank you carter hey is that your father i haven't seen him around is he working out of town just met yourself. Oh, I'm sorry, Carter. I didn't mean to upset you. I was just curious. You never mentioned him. Look, he's gone, all right? And he's never coming back. Look, I don't want to talk about this anymore. Can I go now? See you tomorrow, Carter. Yeah, rude for no reason. Uh, Carter, are you finished yet? Um, yeah. Yes.
Carter, this is a classic. You just state the facts, but don't give your take on it. You need to develop your ideas. You need to immerse yourself in the story. Well, I don't see any of your creativity in this writing. Because this book's boring. Really? It's important to be open-minded in life, you know. You don't want to just gloss over your life like you did this book. You miss out on so much. Perhaps you'll find this more inspiring. What if I asked you to do your assignment on this instead? This is an original. And it's mint. Where'd you get this? Well, my husband Harold collected comics. Collected them since he was your age. The boxes and boxes upstairs. Personally, I don't see what's so great about them, but it will help you with your writing. Have you ever read one before? Actually, no. Couldn't get past a couple of pages. Just never appealed to me. Oh, looks like you just gave yourself some homework because you're gonna have to read it too. I suppose I will. And remember, it's important to be open-minded in life. You can miss out on so much. Ah, so you were actually listening to something I said. Oh. So we have a deal then? You come back Friday with your report and I'll review it after I finish reading the comic. You would be a me, sir. Ugly and all that stuff. She ain't even had that. I did it. This is a lot better. In fact, what you wrote helped me understand the nuances of the storylines. You could actually do a good job if you put your mind to it. Thanks. So, did you like the comic? It wasn't as bad as I expected. In fact... Beat your crappy classics hands down? I don't think I'd go that far. <laughs> but I will admit, I did enjoy the part where he discovered his superpowers. That was the best part? Um, Mrs. Wellington, do you think I could see some more of your husband's comics? Follow me. Thanks. Those were my husband's favorites. Wow. 
Mm. You can borrow them if you want. Really? Yes, but bring them back. I might want to read a few myself. Okay, thanks. Besides, if something were to happen to them, Harold would come back and haunt you. <laughs> Answer this question. What matters more to you than money? Done. Hey man, what gives? Hey look, it's that old hag from last time. Wanna go say hi? Mm. Her again. I need that old people smell had to be coming from somewhere. <laughs> like that it's like how does that make him a loser helping somebody out somebody has helped him that was good that was actually really good that was good ain't no ain't no crazy cutscenes like marvel now right okay cool all right cool but yeah man there you have it the bus stop man i think that was really good valuable lesson man yeah, if y'all like videos like this, comment down below. Make sure you like the video. Subscribe, join the family, hit the bell, follow my social media. And I'll see you in the next video. No cap.